Hi guys, it's Sam here from Bargain Hunting Blonde, and today I'm bringing you my luxury baseball cap collection. Yes, I do have enough to make a collection. It's a small collection, but it's there. Uh, I think I'm safe. It's safe to say I am a luxury hat addict. Yes, and it's getting worse. Okay, so let's start with my first luxury hat purchase. And it is in this dust bag. So as you can see, this is the older Gucci dust bag. Uh, the Gucci dust bag no longer looks like that. It's like um, they've done everything so that their packaging is now like a green color. It is very cute. But I did uh, purchase this one new, but for less than retail from Joma Shop. So I have written down all the prices that I paid for them because I want to make sure to tell you correctly. So let me show you this hat. This is the Gucci Web, technically men's hat, uh, that Gucci still sells. It is on their website. It retails for $415. I paid $279.99. This was before Joma Shop charged tax. Uh, so I did get this hat for a deal. This is the brown Gucci monogram, and then it does have the web detailing on the side. They do also make this in black, and at the time, Joma Shop also had it in black, and I was tempted to get black as well, but I did not need to. Uh, of the exact same hat. This is a men's size medium. So let me take out the stuffing. And it did come with like all the little cards and everything from Gucci, which I kept. It has a very long tag in it. But this is a men's medium on me. I do have a bigger head and you will see that with my other size baseball hats. Um, but I really do like this one. I find it's fun. It really goes great with my hair color. Uh, I really do love Gucci monogram. I know it's a little extra. I do not care. Um, I love baseball caps. I wear them all the time. Uh, when I not filming and not all the time, I do not wear contacts. And so I do wear glasses. And when you're wearing glasses, I do not have like prescription sunglasses. So I love baseball caps because they keep the sun out of my face. And as you can see, I am very pale. So I burn very, very easily. So this is the first one I did buy was the Gucci monogram web baseball cap. And like I said, this is a men's medium. Uh, I don't think Gucci makes a women's hat that looks like this, but let's be real, honestly, it's unisex. If you're a guy and you like it, buy it. If you're a woman and you like it, buy it. That's how I feel about all things. So, <laughs> you know, it doesn't really bother me what it is gendered as, but I know it might bother some people. So that was my first hat. Then my second hat came in this dust bag, which is a Balenciaga dust bag. Uh, this hat I actually see on sale a lot. So if you're interested in this hat, I do post it a lot in my stories. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, I just, I like to post it because I don't think you should pay retail for it. And it is the Balenciaga ball cap, which is slight distressing. Um, I know that some of them are more distressed than others and it's kind of like luck of the draw mine is very very lightly distressed honestly if anything the most distressed part is the little back tab this is a velcro adjustment this is a size large which says it is 59 centimeters i'll put it on my head for you guys uh it does fit very much like the other one uh i really do like this one as well uh but yes i needed a size large in this and also all i ever saw was a small and a large. I'm sure there's a medium out there, but I never saw it. And I'm actually really glad I did purchase the large. So this I bought from Satire, Satire, the one that's spelled C-I-T-T-I-R-E. And it was $273.96 with taxes and duties and all of that. This does retail for different prices depending on what website you look on. So Nordstrom's has it for $425. Some other websites have it for $395. I think maybe it had a price increase and just not everyone has gotten there. It comes in a ton of colors. I just went with the very classic off-white colorway with Balenciaga in black and that is embroidered. This is much more like a baseball cap than the Gucci one, like the material. This Gucci material is like actually I just put it away, of course, actually like Gucci canvas, while this is literally like baseball cap material. So I do see why there are slightly different prices. And then lastly, which I'm so proud of myself. I got this for less than retail. I'll explain after I unbox it. I have not seen it. It is still in its box. It did just arrive from New York. Thank you so, so much to Stacy, who's my Bloomingdale's essay. She is quite great. Um, and I really like working with her. And she's very good at finding the Louis Vuitton things. And it is the, hmm, interesting, interesting, Louis Vuitton baseball cap. This does have the monogram canvas on the bill. 
It does have what looks to be Vaquetta, but I'm not sure if that's Vaquetta leather right there. And then the, this is like a, a nylon and it does have the Louis Vuitton subtly in it. And then the back is made up of straps. I mean, snaps, excuse me, not Velcro. You guys can see it does have the Louis Vuitton tag on here. So it is mainly polyester canvas. It's made in Italy. Let's see, does it anywhere on here say what it is? It's the My Essential cap in noir. And this is a size large. The number for it is M76529. And this did not come with a dust bag and I'm not sure if it was supposed to. So I'm actually going to ask her. If you guys have purchased this hat before, let me know um, if it came with a dust bag because I feel like it should because that's how I would store it, I think. But this again is a large. It does fit my hat, my head quite nicely. I really do like this hat. Um, I had been looking at this hat in different colors and I didn't know what color I wanted to do, but I do not have a black hat, like a darker hat. So I thought this was perfect for me. Uh, like I said, I do wear baseball hats a lot. So here's my thing. Baseball hats. Oh, I forgot to tell you I got on sale. I almost forgot. Okay. So the retail for this hat is $760 plus tax in the States. I paid $566.47 because I had Bloomingdale's Rewards. And Bloomingdale's Rewards at Bloomingdale's can be used to purchase Louis Vuitton, which is a great life hack. So save up your rewards, use them for Louis Vuitton. I was very happy to get this for less than retail because that makes it so much better in my mind. But how do you know if a luxury baseball cap is right for you? Because they are very expensive and it is a baseball cap. And as some of them, like the Balenciaga one, as you can see, this is like really, really a baseball cap. Like the other two are a little bit more like using canvas and leather and just a little different, but like the Balenciaga one, granted retail is technically the cheapest depending on where you find it, is really a baseball cap. So for me, this is what I considered. Number one is do you actually wear baseball caps? I know some people think they aspire to wear baseball caps, but if you do not wear a, a normal baseball hat now, you are not going to wear a luxury baseball cap in my mind. Um, I wear hats, like I said, all the time because I wear my glasses a lot. When I wear my glasses, I wear a baseball cap. I wear a baseball cap when I run, which is three times a week. I wear a baseball cap when I run errands on the weekends, and I wear a baseball cap just like when I go out of the house in general almost because I do not like the sun in my face with my glasses. So I have... Um, a UCLA Law, so that's where I went to law school, uh, baseball hat, and I have two A's hats. So I have three that I wear like pretty religiously, and the UCLA one I wear so often it is completely faded a different color. It was navy blue, and it's basically now like a weird purple. I love that hat, and I will keep wearing it. My husband thinks I should replace it, but no. But like, for example, I've been wearing those hats for years, and so I knew I would wear these hats as well. So I think that's the first most important thing you need to consider. Number two in building a collection in general is not buying the same thing. So as you can see, I have a dark brown hat, I have a light white hat, and now I have a black hat. They are very different colors. They are all neutral, so they can be worn with a lot of things. So I think that's really important when you are buying something that is really paying for the name because you are buying a baseball cap. And lastly would be knowing what hat style looks good on you. For example, I cannot pull off a bucket hat or a beanie, and I've tried, and I like both, but they just don't look good on me, and I know I'll feel awkward, and I'll never wear them. But for me, throwing on a baseball cap is totally normal, totally something I do all the time. So in that sort of situation, the other hats are in for me, but a baseball cap's great for me. You might be one of those people who wears a beanie all the time in the winter because where you live, it's really cold. So maybe it's more worth buying a luxury beanie than a baseball cap because you're not going to wear a baseball cap. Or you're someone who is super trendy and has a great shaped head, which I'm very jealous of, and can wear a bucket hat. And if you can wear a bucket hat, then like buy a bucket hat. It's just knowing what style works for your head. And a lot of times that's trying them on. I happen to look out knowing, like just buying sizes and figuring out what size I need, but I know people's heads very different, like, greatly and differently. And when you have something like the Louis Vuitton, which is snaps, is not nearly as adjustable as the Balenciaga, which is Velcro, and the Gucci, which is Velcro, but a leather Velcro. So just another thing to consider, but I love my luxury baseball caps. If you're looking at them and you're a baseball cap wearer, I 100% recommend you to buy one. I love them and I wear them all the time. And I think they've been a great investment for my wardrobe because they are luxury that I will wear to literally run errands or go outside. Like, you know, I'm, apparently a hot girl walk is a thing. I didn't know that. I've been taking walks 
for a long time because I like to walk and I also like to run. I like to be outside. So um, they're great for hopper wa walks as well. Or as I call them, hot person walks because my husband normally comes with me. But um, yeah, if they work in your lifestyle, don't let anyone tell you that you shouldn't get one because if you wear it a lot, the cost per wear is very low. I mean, the Balenciaga one is my middle one that I have purchased and I have worn that one so many times. I wear it all the time. Um, bad hair day, hat. Sunny, hat. Not sunny, but looks good with outfit, hat. So, you know, it's just one of those things, if you're gonna wear it, you should get it. And I'm totally team buy what you love. Yes, they're expensive, but especially the Balenciaga one goes on sale. So please watch my stories because do not buy that for retail. But if you like this sort of video, so if you, or handbag reviews, handbag reveals, handbag comparisons, which is luxury reviews, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is twice a week. If you want to see how I style my hats, please make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, my blog, all of which are linked down below. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.